here today with Aurelia and Sebastian from Alice Garden. Hi, Cedric. Hi. They are going to talk to us about their journey in, uh, in Australia and the launch of their business. So could you please introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Sebastian Bio. I've been in Australia for eight years now. Started Alice's Garden a year ago and previously I was uh, working in financial services and corporate finance. I'm Aurelia, I help uh, in uh, marketing and customer relationship and I've been only, only here for three months now but I'm really enjoying uh, being here in Australia. So Sebastian, what made you, what give, gave you the idea to come here in Australia to launch your business? Sure. What was the point of all this? So grass is always greener on the other side for sure and uh, coming from France, you know, it's raining every day. Uh, people are nice but sometimes a bit sad. I wanted to come to a sunny country where people are always <laughs> a bit uh, really open on uh, working as a team and uh, close to the ocean. So Australia was the perfect uh, location for me. Yes, yeah, sure. What about you, Aurelia? Yeah. I think it's pretty much the same. Uh, sunny weather, uh, welcoming people, and change a bit from France, like another country. And was it easy to settle in, in Australia, to settle a business? Did you encounter difficulties or things that you want to share? So it was easy to settle uh, just for myself but also relatively easy to settle the business in the sense that all the administrative uh, components of a business setup in Australia is easy as opposed to France so you can start your business in 15 minutes and then uh, Starting the operation of the business was not easy because uh, there are a lot of implications in what we do. Like, can you tell us more about Alice's Garden, about the core of your business and what you are doing Sure, Alice's Garden? So what we do is really trying to, uh, to make the life of people who love outdoor furniture, who love outdoor moments, nice and easy. So we try to offer them the good solution at a good price for them to enjoy the outdoor moments. Yeah. We really try to meet our customers' needs, uh, really understand what their question, lis listen to them, listening to them, uh, and uh, help them uh, to find what they want. And okay, do you be think close to customers? Do you think that it's easy to entrepreneurs here to be close to customers, to create a real community, a faithful community of customers? Well, of course you have to work on it. It's not that easy, it's not given. Uh, yeah. You have to work. Even in Australia it's not given, you have to work. <laughs> no, no, it's not given. Yeah, and no, it's really interesting you, because all customers are not the same. Each customer is different, so you have to adapt to to really listen to them. And uh, no, it's not easy, that's for sure, but it's really interesting. And yeah, and I think regardless of the fact that we are originally from France, mm -hmm. what really matters is uh, Keep it simple, keep it easy. If people want to buy a table, let's offer the table they want. Okay. Let's make sure the delivery is easy. Okay. And let's under promise over deliver, like uh, you know, really managing the expectations of our uh, French, uh, uh, sorry, of our customers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that it's easy here to find people that are always willing to help and to provide assist assistance? Yeah, so I mean there is a good uh, friendship and solidarity amongst the French, Australian, generally Australian people are very nice, very helpful. Um, so now talking about business, given that I didn't know anything about logistics, internet, retail, uh, I had to work hard mm -hmm. to make progress and then very quickly I've been able to ask people to join the team and luckily enough they've been good. So as a team we really do good job but uh, there is no free lunch and uh, you know no pain no gain. So we've been able to work hard to make yeah. it happen. Great and like you seem very self-fulfilled here in Australia but we know that some entrepreneurs they are afraid they are scared to launch their business here or people they they see the visa issues like very hard with the strict laws, they don't want to take the risk to come here. What would be the advice that you would give to those people, to those, to those entrepreneurs that have something you know, to say uh, are afraid? So uh, I will uh, structure the answer in two, two, two bullet points. First one is uh, being an entrepreneur is never easy, mm -hmm. uh, but if you really believe in what you do and you are committed and you have a good team, it's manageable. So now in Australia, the fact that you are not native it's not a big issue, again, as long as we answer the needs to the customer, whether we're from France, Asia, wherever, 
uh, if the customer get value out of us, they are happy, we are happy, so that's, that's a great. And for the world at the end, like what do you expect for the future of the team? What would you say, Aurélia? Still have a good customer relationship, that's the first thing. And then uh, have more products to sell, maybe a big showroom. <laughs> yeah. Big show, so again, custom, we are, uh, it sounds a bit cliche to say that, but you really try to be customer centric. They're happy, they leave good review. So we just want to make their life easier, simpler, have more product range, and you know, continue to, to keep them happy, you know? Sure, so thank you, Sebastian and Aurelia. Like, yes. if you Australians want to enjoy sunny moments in your garden without our furniture, you know who to talk to now. Sure, thank okay. you. Thank you, Sebastian.